my passion for photography started about four years ago. I was playing in a Sassari actually. And um, yeah, we're just doing a lot of traveling, seeing a lot of different things. My friends and family always, you know, wanted more pictures. And so I'm always looking for something to do in my free time when I'm not on the court. So it seemed like just a good hobby to try to, to pick up. Yeah, when I first started, I just, I went out and I bought a camera. I actually bought it here in Milan. Bought my camera here in Milan. And um, I just started uh, practicing and trying new things. And before, uh, I, I didn't take a course, but I looked on YouTube. I learned everything I know on YouTube and mostly practice though. You know, you can't, you can't just learn on YouTube. You have to practice and get out and see different things, see different lighting. And that's, a, that's, that's really how I learned. I think, yeah, a lot of times some of the guys, they'll make jokes, but it's what we do. We make, you know, you make fun of everything. I think most of them are jealous. They, and it's funny because secretly, a lot of them, they'll write me in my private messages and ask me how I got pictures that look so good. Or they say my pictures look really professional or sometimes, you know, uh, so I think they, they just, they really want to learn themselves, but, you know. As a hobby right now, it's cool to just do it in my free time. I enjoy it. Um, I actually have a secret photography page that no one knows about. It's, it's not, no one knows it's me. And um, so I can just kind of, you know, be creative and just do whatever I want to do and not think about it so much. So, you know, maybe when I finish playing, it could be something I look into, but for now it's cool. It's just a hobby and to do it in my free time. Yes, the secret page is an Instagram page, but I think it's a lot, it's fun to have it anonymous for no one to be able to see or know, to know it's me. I feel like that's a good way to be, um, to be creative with no expectations. You know, to just, you know, do my, do my thing and enjoy it and no one knows it's me. Maybe, maybe later, but Right now, like I said, it's, it's more fun that way. You know, no one knows and I just post my pictures of the places I've traveled and the places I've seen. I have got a good feedback just from the photography community. Um, not as much as basketball for sure, but I've been doing basketball my whole life. I've only been doing photography for a couple of years. And um, you know, so as I continue to do it, I'm sure it'll get bigger and bigger, you know, as I commit to it. Now we're here at this indoor skydiving facility. We're gonna get a couple pictures and shots of the shoes going up in flight. Obviously the Paul George 3, this colorway is dedicated to the NASA space station and space research. So we're gonna get a couple shots of the shoes going up in the air and it's gonna be pretty dope, so stay tuned. Um, all right, so we're here shooting the release of the Paul George 3 the NASA Space Edition. So for this part of the project, I'm gonna give you the shoes and you're gonna be in the tunnel flying. I need you to stay as still as possible with the shoe so I can get some good shots of you flying with the shoe. And uh, I think it's gonna be pretty dope. Here it is. Dope shoe. I'm gonna get some good shots of you. The first time I got the shoe was just, uh, you know, it was the latest, the newest Nike shoe to come out, the newest signature line. And uh, it just ended up being a shoe that fit my foot perfectly. It's the most comfortable shoe for me. Uh, the one was very comfortable and for me the two is even more comfortable. So I'm excited to get into the three and just see how it fits compared to the other ones. And so far it's felt really good on my foot and I hope, I can't wait to get on the court and to continue to play in this shoe. Yeah, I have several of the PG uh, IDs. It's one of my favorite things to do is once I get a shoe that I like, I try to make as many as I can and really stick with that shoe just from the comfort standpoint. So I have a ton of PG IDs, mostly in the Venice colors, the rare Venezia colors, 
Um, I'd say my favorite ones right now are uh, a pair I dedicated to one of my friends that died. His name is um, Sean, Sean Claiborne. And uh, it's just a, a gorgeous shoe. Um, I got his name on the inside. He's a DJ around here, he used to DJ. And uh, so is that, that's my favorite shoe. Um, no, the, yeah, the, uh, obviously the NASA space station, the main one, is in Houston, Texas. I'm, I'm from Dallas. It's about four hours away. But uh, it's definitely something that people from Texas take pride in. And for me, my favorite shoe uh, that incorporates Texas, I have a pair of uh, white and uh, red that we play. Usually I play in Champions League with that shoe, but uh, it's one of my favorite shoes. And uh, it, it, there's a few. It says That one says South Irving, which is the city I'm from. But um, yeah, it's definitely a big part of you know Texas pride and uh, just being from that area. Yeah.